Mr. Beto. The Northwest Redevelopment Area is uh, a redevelopment area. Uh, all um, buildings or projects uh, in the area, whether they are affordable housing or market rate or luxury, office or retail or commercial, uh, are ent uh, entitled to a uh, pilot payment, payment in lieu of taxes. Answer your question? Okay. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> what I would say about that is, and, and this is very instructive, because um, when I do deals in other communities and a developer comes in looking for a pilot, we say, prove that you need the pilot. And a lot of times they can prove that they need a pilot in order to finance an affordable housing unit because they cannot charge the same rent or they cannot charge the same sale price in order to maintain that affordability over a 30 year period. But if you intend to do a pilot and continue that kind of activity in a redevelopment zone, which I know for some of the council piece, people is a reason that they would like to put this into a redevelopment zone, particularly this western edge, I suggest to you that that's not a good enough standard to set. That unless the public is gaining something from the pilot, you are simply giving a benefit to the developer and causing the rest of the taxpayers to subsidize the smaller payment that's being made by those units. And we can get into a debate about pilots, but I know that that is a real driving force for why we want to put these properties in redevelopment. So I have two requests. Number one, you need to be a little more aggressive and little, uh, exercise a little more financial scrutiny with respect <coughs> to these deals that you are going to do. And number two, before we go into a room with Tarragon Ursa, I think we should examine the existing deal we have with them, and we should also determine, is going into the room with Tarragon Ursa the only option that we have if we, in fact, put this into a redevelopment zone? And I would say no. If you don't put this out on the street in a competitive process, I think you're making a mistake. And I, for one, would not be upset if the city decides that they can find another developer who will deliver on benefits that Tarragon may or may not want to deliver on and that we actually do have to exercise eminent domain because guess who we're exercising eminent domain against? A developer who's just recently bought these properties. We're not talking about exercising eminent domain against somebody who's a homeowner who's lived there for 40 or 50 years or somebody who has a business because now we're talking about just buying property from somebody who just bought it. So I hope that, num that you will go forward in a very, very methodical manner in anything that you do and not make the same mistakes that have been made in the past with respect to redevelopment zones. Thank you, Lee. Did you